Hi guys, Ian Johnson from DriverSuccess.com. Today I want to talk about the importance of coming up with a pre-call or a pre-quote checklist when it comes to dealing with new customers in a business-to-business -business market. And the most important thing that I want you to take away from today's video is that your company should always speak to customers first before you provide a quote. Okay? Far too often I see these situations where companies quote first and then try and sell. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically summarize what's wrong with that and I'm going to show you all the information that you can gather from your customer that can help you provide a better quote and increase your chance of sales success. Okay? So the most common mistake I see is a company will generate a quote, they'll put down their pricing, all of their conditions, and they forward it off to their customer without speaking to them. All in the hopes that that customer is going to become so impressed with the speed of the company's response. Sometimes that comes from their philosophy, sometimes it's the salesperson who's too busy or is traveling on the road and doesn't have the time. But the idea is we quote, get it out to the customer, and they'll be so impressed with us that they'll want to do business. This rarely, if ever, works, especially in the business-to-business -business marketplace. This is not a business-to-consumer marketplace. This is a business-to-business -business marketplace. This approach does not work. Your customer is not going to become so impressed with the speed of your response that they're going to buy from you even when your price is higher. And honestly, there is so much information from your customer that you must have in order to make your quote more accurate and in order to make your quote give you a greater chance of success. Long before you quote, you must speak to your customer. Okay. So, yes, I know customers need to have quotes, everybody needs to have quotes, but you also need to win business. So don't quote and then try and sell. Sell and then quote. Okay? There's a difference. So I'm just going to go over a couple of things that you should be paying attention to in terms of how you can come up with your, your pre-call or your pre-quote checklist. Okay? So let's say, for example, the customer, the new customer has called and left you a message. The first thing I pay attention to is the tone of the message. Okay? How does the individual sound? Is the, does the situation sound urgent? So is it urgent? Okay. Um, have they defined the requirements? And who is this? Is this a customer that you've been pursuing for a long time who's always put you on the back burner and all of a sudden they're calling you? That tells you a lot about why they're calling you. Okay. So you can get that information based on tone and the information they provide you on the message. Take notes when it comes to this. The other thing you want to pay attention to is I always go to the website of the company. Okay? Because the website can tell me the market they're in. Okay? Now, they could be servicing a market where lead time isn't anywhere near as important. They could be servicing a market where pricing isn't as important as quality. There's a lot of information that can be gathered from the company's website. What kind of market are they in? Okay? That's important. The other thing that's important in terms of the information you can gather from, from the website is who are their vendors, okay? And are these vendors competitors, okay? Now, if you know this new customer, if you know that they're dealing with one of your competitors and you know that competitor and you know what their strengths and weaknesses are, can this help you make a better quote? Of course it can. So the information you gather from the, com the, cu the new customer's market and, and, and their vendors and competitors and, and even, we can even put something here relating to partners. All of that information comes from their website and all of that information can help you understand exactly why they're contacting you. But let's say after the message and the website you're still kind of unclear of why they're calling you. The best way to do it is to ask. When you get them on the phone, ask them a simple and straightforward question. How did you come to hear of us. Okay? What you're doing here is you are defining exactly why they are calling you. Okay? Now, the moment they de define the source, how did you come to hear about us? The moment they reveal the source, that source is going to tell you everything you need to know. Now, if you ask them, how did you come to hear of us? And they reference uh, one of your biggest and best customers, a customer who doesn't measure your performance on price alone, a customer who's been with your business for, you know, decades, then that tells you everything you need to know about the type of customer you're approaching. 
If they say to you, oh, well, we were referenced by X company, and that company has never given you a shot, that company has always used your pricing to lower competitive bids, then you know what kind of customer this, this new customer might become. So ask your customer, how did you hear about us? What is your reason for calling us? Who is the source? Okay? Now, you really need to understand exactly why your customer is calling you. You need to be able to nail down these issues because it will help you produce a better quote and it will increase your odds of closing that order. Now, this isn't all there is to closing sales, but the reality is, is this is a much better process than simply quoting and then following up afterwards. So that's it. Come up with your own business-to-business pre-call, pre-quote checklist, and please make sure you talk to your customer first before you start pricing and before you start providing them with quotations. Ian Johnson, DriverSuccess.com. Bye-bye.